All right, this will be the first program uh, using our uh, software uh, environment. Uh, this is the Blink program. Um, so I'm going to put some equates in. Uh, the ROM is going to start at 00. zero. Uh, remember that in CPM, a lot of times you'll equate this to 100. Uh, but here we want to have it uh, start up right away on power up. So we put it at zero. That's where our ROM sits. We have some global constants. This is kind of left over from a boilerplate that I stole here. Um, but uh, character in line feed comma, those are just things you might use in other programs. Um, I've added one here, LED, um, sets at uh, address 0 uh, D6. So uh, equated that. So here's our program. We're going to have the or origin at uh, ROM, which is going to be 0. And then we're going to have a delay. We're going to do decrement B. We're going to jump not zero to start. So we're going to go around 256 times. And then we're going to have a decrement C. And then we're going to go around 256 times. So we're going to go around 256 times 256. And then we'll finally get around to doing an output command to LED, which will flash the LED. And then we'll go start. And we'll do it all over again. So let's see if this compiles. All right, here's our listing file. Um, so we come down to our program. It is going to be at 000, and decrement B is a 05 instruction. Jump not zero start is a C200. Decrement C is a 0D command, and then we're going to do another C200. And we're going to output the LED, which is going to be a D3, D6, and then jump is the C300 back to the start. So it did compile correctly. So let's burn a ROM. Let's go over to the board and see if it actually runs and blinks the LED. All right, I'm going to use my little adapter here to save the socket on the board. Uh, I'll just add this, and it'll add a uh, add a zero insertion force to the uh, to the board, so we can pop in and out uh, programs easily with a little lever and take out the part. Make sure it's indexed to one. Oops, got a wire underneath it. <laughs> That's not good, my ground wire. Okay, put that on there. All right, so now I um, have a new program. Uh, this has the delay loop, uh, so it'll delay 256 times 256, and then it'll flash the LED. So let's turn on the power, it should be executing, and uh, we will zoom in on the LED and it is pretty boring because the flash time is very small on that multi-vibrator and the LED is not very bright. Let me turn off the lights. There we go. Now you can see it. So it is flashing. So we have uh, accomplished a new program. So that's good. And we have our zero insertion force now, so that's good. And now we can start writing other programs.